Denmark faces Netherlands in the first match in the World Cup and we have here our own in-house expert of Denmark, Ronnie Hartwig. Welcome Ronnie. Thank you then. Ronnie, Denmark now, they are underdogs. How do you view the match against Netherlands? Uh, yes, as you said, they are underdogs. I, I think it's going to be a very difficult one. Mm. Uh, Holland is a world-class team. Yeah. They just have world-class players mm. throughout the pitch. Mm. Mm. Uh, but uh, hopefully Robin will continue being injured and uh, mm. we can maybe get a draw if we're lucky. Yeah. If we should meet Holland, it's good to meet them in the first match at least. Exactly. That, that gives us maybe a, a little bit of hope. The draw is four times the money. Denmark is 650, Netherlands is 150. And how is the feeling in Denmark now? Do you believe in uh, going through chance here, big you know, chance to go through in the group? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, we found it, the draw a bit 50 uh, 50 to be honest, because mm. there's no doubt, as we just said, Holland will go through. But mm. uh, Cameroon and Japan are very strong sides. And mm. It really depends on the day. Mm. Uh, but now, as the World Cup fever is increasing in Denmark and the media, the hype is yeah. starting, uh, definitely we believe now that mm. uh, we will take the second place. Yeah. What are, as you see, the key for advantage success in South Africa? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's two things. Mm. Uh, we have had uh, poor preparations, we had some players who were injured, some key players. Uh, we need to ensure that they are fit. Mm. If they're fit, uh, I think uh, we will we will manage. Mm. Uh, they are key players, as I said, and we need them to uh, to be on the pitch. Yeah. Uh, Bentner, for example. It's yeah. a Bentner, Simon Kjær, yeah. Thomas Sørensen, yeah. the keeper. Yeah. And then I think if we need uh, Christian Poulsen on the midfield as well, mm. those four players mm. will be the key mm. to success. Strong side, physical side, and you knocked out Portugal and Sweden in the quarterfinals. Yes. Portugal went through. Now we see what happens in the group. Uh, to end this little session, uh, we know that the Danes have fantastic fans, and we will do this little special now. Yes, with yes, yes. Also, a former footballer. He, he plays football and played on a high level. So, how does it sound in Copenhagen if you would beat Netherlands, Ronnie? If we beat Netherlands, <laughs> I'm not sure I can make that much <laughs> no noise here. Yeah. But uh, note this shirt because we will definitely go through to the knockout stages and the celebration will be something like We have a We have a We have a We have a Sempre Jontek, you know him, he's with us also, don't miss him, our ambassador. He knows this song as well. <laughs> he knows it very yeah. well. Good luck Denmark. See you.